Greetings. Um, my name is Greg Chen, and I'm the policy lead at CGAP. And I'm recording this video to give a preview of an upcoming webinar on May 4th. Uh, the webinar is on G2P modernization um, and especially focused on Sub-Saharan Africa. And there are a few reasons why this is an important topic. Um, Africa will be rapidly developing in the coming decades. But we also know that there will be vulnerabilities due to climate change, pockets of conflict, and the risks that certain people or groups or regions get left behind. And having G2P systems or social assistance payments programs that can help plug some of those holes and address some of those vulnerabilities are gonna be vital for ensuring that the, the, the development is sustained, broad-based and resilient across the continent. Um, to do this, we need adaptive social protection programs and having social assistance payments uh, easily able to scale and reach large portions of the population are going to be part of that resilient system. The good news we have is that the modernization of these G2P systems um, is increasingly evident across the continent. And during the webinar, we're gonna share three really innovative examples. Um, by modernization of G2P systems, we mean systems that are more than just digitizing, although digitization is a very important element of all this, but it's really digitization as a means to an end. And the end is better systems for government, but equally, if not more important, systems that work very well for the end recipients that reach them, that are convenient and that are reliable and digitization as a means to that end. Um, the good news is there are some really exciting examples on the continent to share. And the first is Kenya, which for the last 10 years has been reforming its Inua Jamii program, its largest social assistance program. And today it uses four different banks, um, uses biometrics to verify proof of life twice a year. And it uses a, an innovative tiered payments or, or pricing scheme to pay the banks a bit more to go into rural areas. This doesn't cover all areas, but it, it, it has um, uh, far reaching benefits. The second country is Zambia, which is a, a very large land mass with a fairly dispersed population. So they've had to innovate in one of their <clears throat> newer social assistance programs over the last three to five years, um, a system for using six different providers to deliver those payments. That includes banks and mobile money providers. And the most recent innovation to highlight comes from Togo, which during the COVID crisis of the last year has developed the Novisi program, which heavily relies on digital means to rapidly scale and onboard and make payments to um, informal sector workers. And it's had an innovative use of, of data to improve the targeting and also to enable the government to move larger sums of money to women uh, as opposed to men. So, um, during the May 4th webinar, uh, we'll be having guests from each of these countries to come and have a, a question and answer session. Um, so we really hope you're able to join, do some of the pre-reading on the cases and, um, and see what some of the most exciting recent innovations on the continent are in this important area. 